Hi everybody, this is a video specifically for parents and we know that lots of videos have been doing the rounds in terms of how to prepare your children for re-entry to school and what we know about the brain is that it's pattern seeking and survival oriented. So the more predictable and the more safe we help our children to feel, the easier it will be for them to adapt to our new reality. So here are a few tips and we really need your help with this. We really need you to bring these points home because as much as we can do it in a school environment, they need to hear this from you in order to help them feel safe and to set them up for optimal learning when they come back to school. Children are so resilient. If you model a can-do attitude for them, then that is what they will walk into school with. So if you model positivity and grit and courage on that first morning, that's how they'll walk in. Please make sure you do this to help your boy have a great first day at school. Prepare your sons that you, the adults in their lives, will not be allowed to come onto the school property and elevate their expectations for a happy meet and greet with their teachers as we welcome them at Lawley Road. What we'd really appreciate your help with as well is to set up the expectation about the screening process. So all the junior prep boys, grade 0, 1, 2 and 3, are going to be entering and exiting, so for drop off and for pick up from Lawley Road. And the screening process is going to involve you filling in an app with symptoms, so runny nose, um, diarrhea, cough, sore throat, and you have to do that ahead of time because that's what is required. Um, what the boys will be doing is as they're getting out the car, they'll be going through the gym, having their temperature checked and recorded, and then up to their classroom. There will be a training video specifically geared for the boys in order for them to see this process in action. Please speak to your son about physical distancing. As much as we would like to give them a big hug as soon as they walk in through the gates, we won't be able to. This will be something new to get used to. They'll also be working independently. All collaborative work will take place on Seesaw. Please remember to practice hand hygiene, sneeze and cough etiquette at home. We need to ensure that this is habitual when they return to school. Remember to encourage your boys to wash their hands regularly for at least 20 seconds. They can even sing happy birthday. <laughs> Have a conversation with your boys that their classroom and playtime won't look the same as it used to. For now, the jungle gyms will be out of bounds and also the boys need to prepare for the fact that not all of their friends might be in the class at the same time depending on the family's decision. Please encourage your boys to practice wearing their masks at home. We know they can be quite uncomfortable, but we have to get used to wearing these on a regular basis. All the boys will be getting one of these really super cool bridging masks that they need to practice wearing. Physical distancing is sometimes hard to get our heads around. So what we would like you to do is actually show your boys something at home, either a broom or a mop, or they may, may have a very long dial stick, that you can actually show them how long 1.5 meters is and help them to try and understand what that looks like physically. Sharing is usually caring, but for now your son won't be able to share his stationary toys or snacks. So it provides an exciting opportunity to bring in a shopping size bag of toys and he can choose a puzzle, a book, a soft toy for comfort and construction toys. This is really an exciting opportunity because they often want to bring their toys from home. For the time being, the boys will not be wearing their red uniform, they will be wearing their civvies and we ask that you label all of their civvies so they don't get lost. Children can be really impulsive in their responses to somebody sneezing or coughing and it's important that we encourage boys to use kindness and helpfulness as opposed to anything that's hurtful. And we need to just remember that at the basis of all of our conversations is safety. Helping our children feel safe and helping other people's children feel safe too. And the last point is to just keep communicating with your class teacher, supporting your class teacher, and in that way as well, we're setting the example for our children of how we are a school family and how we're going to get through this together. Thank you.